Okay, this is just a quick video I'm doing just to uh, show a demonstration of how the um, QMU has is been getting on along recently, and they have they've managed to create a 3D driver, um, which basically where QMU will, QMU will pass through the OpenGL from the guest to the host. So that can help to speed things up if you have if you've got a three D program that you want to run in a guest. As far as I know, they haven't made any progress on getting a driver for Windows. So of course, most people won't be too interested. But this is just for if you want to actually have something OpenGL running on your guest machine. And basically, you have to have a new enough distribution running. Because it has to have at least kernel 4.4 on the guest in order so that the Vertio GPU, um, uh, um, yeah, DR, so, sorry, DRM driver is running. Um, basically, to get that to work, you have to, um, there's a few commands that you have to or settings you have to put into QMU in order so that it will run with the 3D. And basically, um, the easiest one to use is, is SDL. So as long as it's compiled with SDL2, and you have to specify that the OpenGL is on, and then the VGA is Vertio. And so when you run it um, in that way, when the virtual machine starts up, you can see that it, um, it says here that it's using GL version 4.1 core profile. So basically, that's how you can tell that the OpenGL is being used of your, your graphics card. And so just to show, I mean, not really going to be doing much, but just to show that it actually does work, um, I just loaded this, um, uh, where is it? Yeah, Stunt Rally, yeah. I mean, it's just, a, it's just some driving game, but it just has this option whereby you can actually sort of record. I'll just do a quick recording just so you can see how, what the 3D is like. Of course, my, the actual driving is, is useless, but. It's just, I just did it just so I could actually have something to show. Okay, so, so as you can see, it's, it's not too bad. I mean, and because and, remember, because obviously if it's run, if it's running this on the playing graphics card, it, you expect it to be smoother, but the way it's moving at the moment is it's not too bad considering that it is this is actually an emulation. See that around this it's got the shadows and obviously under the car's got the dust and then there's the obviously the fake reflections on the car as well. So it is actually having to do quite a lot of work and it's, it's not too doing too bad considering and also at this resolution as well don't worry it's not too long so Yeah, I think it just repeats. So it's just it's just going around again. All right. So yeah. So basically, that's to show that the Virgil renderer is obviously working very well, and they've made some good progress on it. I've got no idea if they're ever going to be able to do a Windows one because obviously that's what the majority of people are waiting for. Um, because well, most people just want to use Windows for their programs, but if you're using a Unix-based system, then 
ex-org and the kernel um, already have um, a driver in there. Oh yeah, this is another thing, is that the it seems sometimes it does lock up, so you might want to try and get as new a distribution as, as you can um, when you run it. So obviously there's going to still be a lot of bugs in it. Um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, just a quick demonstration to show that it does work. And just in case anyone's interested. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.